Hey you guys, how's it going? Uh, lovely to see you and Happy New Year! <laughs> I, this is not really a New Year's video, but it is New Year's Day and I was like, I'm going to get on live because this is how I'm going to kickstart my new year, by showing up, being visible, and doing all the things that I tell everybody else to do, right? And welcome you guys, nice to see you, Happy New Year, make sure to say hello when you get here. Tell me where you're tuning in from because I would love to know. I'd love to know where you are in the world and I'm assuming it's New Year's for you, but I actually don't know. <laughs> so I'm excited to talk to you today about uh, charisma, magnetism, fascination, all of these things. Hey Christine, how are you love? Oh, you're in Rochester. Oh cool, my dad lived, um, is that Rochester County? He lived like kind of by Woodstock in New Paltz, New York. So I don't know if that's close to you, but hi Elizabeth, happy new year, hi Tara. Buffalo, hi Sally, you're, uh, you got some New Yorkers. Natasha, you're in New York. Oh wait, oh happy new year. I Hello brain, London, I got you. <laughs> I got you girl, I just don't have my glasses on. That can cause problems. Um, you're out that way-ish. Well you're a lot closer Christine than I am because I live in on the west coast in Portland, Oregon. So hi Jog, uh, from London, okay very cool. You're in PDX, Rachel, I'm in PDX too, so cool. We should definitely share where we're from more often, that's awesome. Um, yeah, right, Christine, I'm like, that's like right next door. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I am gonna talk to you about magnetism today, and I was like, God, I better up my game a little bit because I have to admit, I'm just gonna give you guys the, the dirty on this. I got my sweatpants and my leg warmers on, and I'm like, not really trying that hard today because it is, you know, kind of a holiday and I'm taking the day off. Um, Brianna, Brianna, is that how I say that? Another Portland girl, awesome, Phoenix. So, uh, Christine, you're from Phoenix. Yeah, I was like, all right, I'm gonna talk about magnetism because this is what I do. I get ideas, usually in the middle of the night, and I'm like, this is what I need to talk about, and that is what I talk about. So I almost always honor that gut feeling and that initial idea I have. And that is also something I recommend in terms of content creation because a lot of people ask me, how do you come up with stuff to talk about? You know, I have trouble thinking of stuff. And the reality is I don't think anybody has trouble thinking of stuff. I have, I think that most people have trouble following through and trusting that initial gut feeling. So that is a side note, but I did add, I don't know if, um, give me actually a number one in the comments if you guys already signed up for the five day challenge. I'm so excited. We start in a week from tomorrow, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of video videos this week. So tune into those because I'm gonna be getting geared up for sharing awesome content in the five day challenge. Yay, Christine. Yay, you got Jenya, yay. So this is gonna be really fun, and so just make sure to tune in this week. I'll, I'll let you know what I'm gonna talk about usually earlier in the day and what time I'm gonna be going on, but I am gonna be very video-centric this week. So make sure if you guys have joined the challenge to share the challenge. I'm gonna post a meme this week, um, and if you, when you see that, just share that because I also have that scholarship happening for one person that shows up the most in the challenge. And if somebody is sharing the challenge a lot, they're definitely gonna get bumped to the top of the list. That's all I'm saying. So I'll tell you more about that later. But I was thinking about magnetism for a couple different reasons. And I know that it can be something that feels kind of scary. Like how do I really show my true self? How do I put myself out there on video? And magnetism is something that is really important. It is because we we need people to feel our energy and while you meet someone in person, you in general feel their energy obviously way more than in video. And so how do you take that essence of who you are, that piece of who you are and project it 
into this tiny little camera, right, that then projects into the world because that is truly what that magnetism is. We all have the magnetism in us. Elizabeth, you have a question. I have a question about the challenge. Will I have to do this on my personal page or can I do it in my group? The challenge is going to be done actually all in the Rise and Shine group. So you're welcome to go. It's not about, um, you can actually, two things, you can do it on your personal page, you can do it in your group, you can do it on a business page, do whatever you want, but the main part of the challenge is all gonna be happening inside the group. So it's not like one of those, oh, just do 30 days of video, you know what I mean? It's prompts, you're gonna get a video tip every day and then you're going to get a prompt with a specific question and it's about showing up and like delivering that on a video, but it makes it kind of like a no brainer. You don't have to think of stuff to say. It's not like, oh, just go do it yourself, okay? So anyway, side note there and uh, just realizing I didn't introduce myself. So if for some reason you're new and if you guys share the video, then there are always new people hopping on. So thank you in advance for sharing. I really appreciate that so much. And uh, if we haven't met yet, I'm Jaya Rose from JayaRoseCoaching.com where I am the visibility queen who helps you show up for being you. And what is magnetism really? Really what it is, is you being the most you you can be, which means taking away the fear and the doubt and the shyness and all the things that we say to ourselves that make us feel like we can't show up in our true, authentic, raw selves, right? And so I love this quote by Sally Hogshead. I don't know if you guys know her, but I'm going to be, you guys know her, is that a heart for that? <laughs> but. I'm going to give you her website because I think it would be a great idea if you took her personality test. It's really helped me in terms of understanding my personality and how the world views me to help magnetize that more and like put that more into my videos. So you can, if you want to write this down, it's howtofascinate.com and she has a personality test, which is really, it's like 26 questions. She is amazing. But I watched an interview with her recently uh, by Marie Forleo actually. It's Something she said really stuck with me and it has everything to do with being more magnetic. She said, we don't learn how to be fascinating. We unlearn how to not be boring. Unlearn how to not be, yes. <laughs> so I think I did a double negative there, but you get what I'm saying. We all have this like dampen ourselves down thing that happens as we grow up. And I have a three-year-old, okay? And I, t I try not to tell her to dampen herself down, but Lord help me, I want to, right? And so we get these messages as we're kids to dampen ourselves down, and it totally depends on your family experience and your schooling and whatever situations you've been in in your life. But most likely, you've run across some situation that told you to be quieter, to be less of you. And that is the unlearning that she's talking about. We have to unlearn how to be boring. I think that's what it is not. <laughs> and that is really true because you guys can see when you hop on people's videos, if they're being boring, snooze, you're going to get off. And so it is the thing that will kill your message and dampen your ability to reach people, create the impact, create the business that you want if you are closing yourself off from that full expression of you. So I'm gonna give you five tips and they're very quick and simple, but if you have a pen and paper handy, go ahead and grab one. So if you're ready for number one, actually I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go backwards, okay? Ah, we already put a number one in, sorry, but let's put a number five because I actually wanna start with number five, okay? So put a number five in the comments if you're ready for um, something that's super simple you can do that really does magnetize your likability because so much about magnetism has to do with likability and so much about online business has to do with no like and trust. So that is a third of the component we are working towards and in video you can nail all three of those things which is incredible, okay? So number five in the comments and this is number five. It's super simple, but it's saying thank you. Saying thank you automatically makes people endeared to you. So when you hop on, you'll notice that I say thank you, 
thank you for being here today. And then at the end of the video, I always say thank you again. And I think what that does is it really develops that rapport with people where politeness and that sort of like social norm type stuff does go a long way. And especially we can really get into that trust. So we, we get the likability, but you want to build trust with people. And if you can do that before ever having an interaction with them, then you will be like 50 steps closer to having that booming online business. Because that is the hugest piece that we need to overcome between us and our potential clients is that trust factor. And this is a whole nother tangent that I will definitely go on, okay? Another time, because I see people going right for the sale, right for the like, even if it's just like a meeting, it's like too much too soon will dampen down that trust ability. And that is the ultimate. No, like, trust, like trust. We want that so badly. And so when you, um, show that you have those social norms and that you're gracious and you may be totally gracious in your real life but when you incorporate some of those habits into your videos people do take notice they take an unconscious notice but most of trust comes from the unconscious mind anyway it's not like someone's sitting there thinking i wonder if she's trustworthy no they get a feeling for you right so we want to encourage that feeling so number five was saying thank you, thanking people for hopping on, thanking them at the end. Um, thank you, you know, I will say thank you for joining my challenge. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for sharing my video, right? There's a lot of opportunity. So let's go number four in the comments. I'm really thirsty today, so I'm, I'm drinking. This is a good one, you guys. Number four, I, don't, I think I'm on a lag. Oh, there you are. Oh my gosh, I did not see any. Alaya, thank you for sharing. Um, it told me that you shared. I didn't scroll down, you guys. I haven't seen any of your comments. So sorry. Okay, there you are. Hello. All right. I see your number fours. Okay, awesome. Here we go. This is something you maybe have heard before, but again, it goes with the psychology of likability and also trust and also knowing. So we're going to bang it all out with this one thing. And... Alaya, thank you for sharing. You said, of course. It is saying people's names. Now, I don't know if you've noticed people doing this on live videos um, or if you've noticed me doing it, but I try really hard to say everybody's name. And I do that for a number of reasons, but one of the reasons is definitely that I understand, <laughs> but I'll tell you why, that it's really awesome to hear your name being said, right, Janya? And I don't even know, Janya, if I'm saying your name right. I'm just going phonetically, so I hope I am. But, Aliyah, it is so important, and you guys, I am a total geek about it. When I go on other people's live videos, I will, like, geek out and be, like, giddy and excited when they say my name. And, oh, boy, if they read my comment. <laughs> You know what I mean? You're just like, they like me. Ooh. And when somebody, when you feel like somebody likes you, well, then you like them, right? And, you know, I would say that's fine for friendship, but I would say don't apply that to dating because I did that for a long time. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. That's not everything. But it is good for online business. And Feeling that, right? <laughs> don't do it for dating. More requirements than them just liking you, ladies. All right, so saying people's names does something. It triggers that likability. And also now that you're like, oh, they know me. And we have the like, and then we build that trust because you feel as though you have a relationship with them. And that is the beautiful, the power of video. So amazing, you guys. And I know you all already know that one, or you at the very least agree with me, right? So practice that. Practice incorporating that into when you say hello to people. And some of the challenge, I just have to say, with live video is that you have to really multitask. And sometimes that can be really hard at first. So you're like, ooh, do I talk to people or not? Do I just deliver my content? Because you also will lose 
people, especially the people on the replays, interest if you're just talking only to the people. So this is stuff actually that I cover in Rock Your Videos. I can't really get all into it in these type of videos that I do on Facebook, but if you want to know more about that, just kind of keep it in your mind and maybe bring it up if I'm doing like a Rock Your Videos Q&A. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Jen. All right, you guys, number three in the comments is one of my favorites. It also is one of my pet peeves. So this really bothers me when I see people doing video. Um, rather, when I see people not doing this in their videos. So put a number three in the comments. Christine, you're on it with your numbers, girl. Hi, Claire. All right, you guys, so number three. I've definitely given this advice before, but it's worth saying again. It is to smile. Smiling is so important. It's like, it's again one of those subconscious feelings that we get. And, you know, I think there are hormones and triggers that go off when you see someone smile. And I need to read up on it to speak on it very intelligently. But I know for sure that it triggers you. And it triggers you in a positive response. So as soon as I smile at you, I'm like, hey, guys, it is such a difference between that and if I'm allowing my nerves. Because here's the deal. You can still smile and be nervous at the same time. It doesn't take anything away. If you're nervous and you're like, I can't do anything because I'm nervous. Well, you know what? Maybe you're not ready for Facebook Live yet because you want to be able to, at the very least, act like you're not nervous. You can be tossing butterflies in your stomach, but... Sorry, I'm just getting text messages. So you really want to appear as natural as possible. And we're getting up. This is why I went backwards because the number one and two or two and one are my favorites. And I'm going to dive into those in a second. But smiling is a really big piece of making people feel comfortable and also giving that sense that you're relaxed. Because part of being magnetic, actually, I love this quote that I got from mindbodygreen.com that says, magnetism is something to sink into, like a super plush sofa. Do you love that? Because that is what it truly is. It's, it's just like sinking into yourself and sharing that joy that you feel from within and people are automatically drawn to that. It is so powerful. So you'll notice in TED Talks or in people who give speeches that they'll smile periodically and it's almost as though it's planned and some of them probably do plan it. They have their little segment and maybe it gets serious and then they're going to throw in a smile. You see how I did that? <laughs> and um, so one way that you could practice this is by just doing it in the mirror. Practicing, you know, I like to say practice makes it possible. It may not make it perfect and that's okay, but really practicing and taking time to notice how you are on video is huge, okay? And I'll, I'll, that's it for that's it for number three. Let's go to number two. Number two and one are my favorites, and I think them some of the most powerful things you can do, both on video and also in your personal life when you're meeting people, and to just charm, to turn on the charm a little bit more, as um, that's how we get what we want in life, right? I mean, <laughs> it is one of the things we have to draw people to us, and and. Create the feeling that we want with people, right? Alaya says to Rachel, okay, ladies, here we go. This is an awesome one, and it's one that you can change and shift right away. It is body language. So body language makes up 60% of our communications. I don't have to say anything, and in fact, I could be saying the most amazing thing, and if my body language does not meet what I'm saying, it does not parallel and match it, you're not going to believe me. And I know you know what I'm talking about, but there is a massive difference between good posture, between you know that lifting up the chest, and um, even little things like having your head too far forward. This is why I always give you guys the tip also of not being too close to the camera. This is my number one pet peeve with video. 
I see a lot of people, and if your head is cut off, that is way too close. If you can't see your neck, it's way too close. Because what happens when I'm this close to the camera is that you can't see my body language and you automatically are curious and you distrust just that tiny bit. So the best way to build trust with people is to show yourself, show yourself. I know that sounds silly or simple, but it's really important. So sitting up nice and tall, like even um, when I see people who are sitting on the couch or doing these way, way more casual type things where if I'm just leaning back, look at the difference between this. You would maybe think I don't care, wouldn't you? You see what I mean? Um, so looking away, being distracted, not making eye contact, showing that your body language is not fully committed are all things that are not going to help you on your videos. So sitting up straight, the smiling is great in terms of body language, using your hands, being demonstrative. I definitely go overboard on my videos. Uh, Aliyah, you were just, Aliyah was at my sister circle at my house yesterday, and tell me, like, I, I am a little bit more exaggerated on video. I'm not, I don't take up all the space in the room when I'm with people. I don't talk the whole time at all. And it's just that when you're on video, you really have to be the star of your show. And so while I sometimes will be like mellow right before I get on, I definitely put some music on, I put some essential oils on, I do whatever it takes to like pump myself up. It's almost like an air pump. I'm like, right? It's true, Aliyah. And so I always tell people that. I'm like, if you meet me in person, it's not like I'm gonna be some like huge gregarious personality. In fact, I listen a lot. And listening is another piece of being magnetic. Um, so it's just that it's a little bit hard to listen while you're doing a video, right? So I'm not gonna give you that as a tip. But the body language, focus on it. Get yourself ready, be the teacher, be the leader. Be the leader. That's what people want when they're showing up on your video. And it's obvious when you're not doing it and 60% of that is coming from your body language, right? All right, number one, you guys, this is my favorite one. It might even be my word for the year. I'm deciding today, or however long it takes me, on my word for the year. And if you guys wanna put your word for the year in, go ahead, this would be a great time to declare it. Why don't you put your word for the year in instead of a number one? Oh, there you go, Jan, you got the number one. You can do a number one, or you could put your word in for the year. But this is definitely my favorite, and I have to say that this is not a quick fix. This is not something that is like some simple little tip I'm gonna give you, but abundance, Christine, I love it. It's something that when we're lacking it, it's apparent in every single place in our life. So this applies to, oh, let me read your guys', let I wanna see these as they roll in. Uh, yeah, Julie, magnetic. Well, this is a great way to start the year. Andrea says focus. Elvira says focus. Lotus, fulfilled. Elizabeth, freedom. Oh, I love that. Andrea, truth. Alaya, receive plus ease. Jen, I haven't chosen my word yet. Jan, yet success. Oh, I love your guys' words. That's so good. So this is potentially my word, but number one is to be in your power. Power. That's the word that kept coming to me today. I was like, power. It really is everything. Being in your power, being empowered, you know, I love the word empowerment also, but being in your power is something that takes practice. It takes your daily practice and your habits, right? Your habits really equal the amount of power you feel. How much power do you have in your relationships? How much power do you have in your relationship to yourself? Are you honoring your intuition? Are you using your self-care habits? Because those are all those things that fill you up. They fill you up, they fill up your cup, and they, they create that, like, what is it? You know, it's like the most expanded you. It's the best 
you. And so in terms of really using video for your business, and when I say using video, video for your business, you guys, I'm not just talking about like some strategy. Oh, Facebook Live, it's popular right now. I better learn how to use it. I'm talking about building a six figure plus income using video. And I will do another like results video someday because you guys, your minds will be blown. But I know firsthand because I have built my entire coaching business using video. So it is something that, that's why I'm so serious about it. That's why I have Rock Your Videos 2017 coming out in the middle of January because it's not just about getting on video. It's not just about the message you have how you share it, the content you put together, how often you get on video. And all of those things matter. They get thrown into the pot and we're gonna make a stew, right? We're gonna make a success stew. One of the main ingredients needs to be your own personal power because that is what is a complete non-negotiable. It's something that nobody can take away from you, and it's also something that nobody can deny you have. Because when you're fully all up in your power, you give zero fucks about what other people think. And that is a really key part about really putting yourself out there on video, because that little like mean girl or negative Nancy that comes up when you, Think of something, some idea, how I thought of this idea, right? I want to talk about magnetism. It just rolled around in my head today. And I was like, I kind of don't want to do it. I'm kind of tired today. No, make yourself do it, Jaya. Do it because it is so important to honor your truth. And part of being in your power takes all those little negative Nancy voices or that one, however many you have, and says, I hear you, but you don't get to make the decisions. I'm in charge. I'm all up in this motherfucker. Hell yeah, right? It's like, I don't know where that came from, but it's like, you gotta be the driver. The driver that says, I am in charge. I am hashtag boss. I am the queen. I'm driving this train. The conductor, oh my God, how many different analogies can we come up with? But I know you guys know what I mean and you also know where the places in your life where you can spruce that up a little bit. And so doing that and really, hi Mary, nice to see you. Really focusing on that, if anything, that is what 217 is about for me and for my teachings and I feel like that's what I'm here to show up and really tell you. Well, I can teach you how to rock your videos and I can teach you strategically how to build an online business and how to do everything to have an online business. That's awesome. But that's just a vehicle for my true message. The true message is you are worth being the empowered woman you were always meant to be. And having an online business that mirrors your greatness and pulls people in via a vehicle like this that's so amazing, that is so transparent, and there is no room for bullshit. There is no room for me to come on here and act like someone I'm not. And that's what I want for you, for all of you in this next year. And uh, that's why I'm doing this. So. I hope you guys love it. <laughs> hope you loved it. And uh, I'm gonna leave you with that because I feel like you really know what I mean. I know that all of you are my soul sisters. That's why we vibe. I already know we vibe. We're here together doing this. And you sometimes just need to be reminded the same way I need to be reminded all the time to get out of my own way and be more of me to bring more of me to the situation, to bring me more of me into my business. And that is truly when things boom. So let me just see what you guys are saying. Lotus, my message is the same. You know what you need, you are amazing. Yes, exactly. Love the zero fucks, Elvira. Yeah, zero fucks, zero fucks. <laughs> Lene, build my foundation is my word. I want to build a foundation so strong, I build a huge empire on it. That is amazing. Yes, and your power is the thing. It is the thing. So officially, that is my word for 2017. Yay! Um, Rachel says, you're always 
impeccable with timing the right subject at the right time. Rachel, thank you so much for saying that because that is exactly what I'm talking about. The only reason I'm impeccable with my timing is because I don't plan shit. Okay. Now I am not afraid of planning and I will teach you how to plan, but I don't do it because I listen to those hot messages, divine downloads, and those are not about me. I'm just a vehicle for this. I understand that about myself. And while I like love all the love and I appreciate compliments and it's fantastic, it's really not about me. It's about me getting out of my own way so I can deliver the message that's sent to me. And I believe that that's true for all of us, that we all have that higher connection, that we all have potential to really honor our downloads. And that is what I, that's my style of teaching. That's what I love. Um, that's really what it's all about. So thank you, Rachel, for, for saying that and for noticing that because I think it has a lot to do with the fact that it really comes from the heart. You know what I mean? It's organic. It's not about some strategy, oh, what can I say to people today to make them want to like work with me or buy my shit. It's like, no, this is what needs to be talked about. This is the truth. Hi, Jessica, just hopping on late, girl. Lotus says, I get the downloads yet. I don't make time to share them with everyone. Still need t time block. Yeah, you guys, um, it is important to share them. Amanda says, my mantra this year is, I choose to be seen in 17. Heck yeah! Visibility! What? Visibility for the win, you guys. So I, I don't know if all of you are signed up for the free challenge yet, but go ahead and click it above. Like I said, I'm going to put a meme up this week, and I'm going to ask you if you've joined the challenge to please share it with as many people as possible. Because while uh, there is so much potential to have a booming online business because it's online, the reality is this is all networking. This is all about relationships and it's really important for me to leverage my relationships because that's what we do. We give amazing free content and then you leverage those relationships. And so I would just really appreciate all of your support to share the, the challenge and get as many people in as possible because then you know I'm maximizing my potential and I can help you maximize your potential. So that's what it's all about. Rachel, I need to listen to my inner dialogue more and make decisive action when it comes to me. Thanks for the motivation. You are so welcome and that you're so picking up what I'm putting down, Rachel. Maybe because we're both in Portland. I don't know. I'm feeling the vibe. So you guys, I'll see you this week. Like I said, I'm going to be giving a lot of awesome video content this week to really get my uh, boom your biz with live video challenge on and popping that starts next week. So I'll see you guys all this week a lot. Okay. Happy New Year. Bye.